Cause you know I'm gonna go Yeah Web free breakfast Serving sides like Texas I'm a beast Yeah baby You know I'm reckless We stacking blue chips My people buy the dip Matt Black Lambo coming soon Don't forget sign the check 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 Web free breakfast Fuck a Lexus, push a Maserati, keep a diamond Jesus on my necklace. I'm living reckless. Fuck a job, cash the check, grab the bag, hit the fight, we on the next one. Wife changing money, just ask my honey. Got a diamond on my face, I can't help it, I'm new money. Money, money. Web three breakfast, wake and bake, appreciate the checklist, moderate the stage, perplexing everything you say, and not to mention, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. I think I rug. Maybe I should shrug it off, go touch. Some grass, perhaps some plug, 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 plug. Web three breakfast, 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 breakfast. Web three breakfast, 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 breakfast. Web three breakfast, 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 breakfast. Boom! What is up, everybody? Hope you had yourself a great weekend, a great, great weekend. Uh, my name is Jay Chains. This is Web Three Breakfast. Super excited about this show today. Uh, gotta thank Carrie. My man, Carrie, for hooking us up with uh, with the mad scientists. I know Carrie's been talking a lot about this project. Super excited to uh, to chat with uh, with Zerk today. Uh, I would assume Zerk is behind the mad scientist uh, account. So uh, we are going to have a fantastic conversation today. So thank you guys for all being here. Uh, make sure if you are listening on the space, go ahead and uh, hit the purple pill, retweet or repost. It's just one of those things. Just repost the space out. Let's get some more friends in here. Uh, and if you are watching on the live stream on X, thank you so much for joining us. Do what you got to do. I, you know, I'm, I'm actually not from, as familiar. You know, like on YouTube, you say, smash the like button. I don't think there's a like button on the YouTube stream or on the X stream, but, you know, we'll get there. But GM, GM, everybody, thank you for being here. Hope you uh, have a wonderful Monday morning so far. Uh, it is 9 a.m. here on the East Coast. Finally made it back home yesterday. After a weekend trip to Louisville, Louisville, because of that UFC fight, which, by the way, I got my UFC V-Chain hat on today. Finally got some of that UFC V-Chain merch. Finally. Or Louisville, Louisville. depending on where you're from. Louisville. 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 I think yeah, and if, the, you're, if you're from French Canada, and then the, it's Louisville. Louis. <laughs> Louis. And then some people say low, like. Like, like there's a W in there, but it's like Louisville. 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 Hey, I'm going to Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. Louisville. Oh, they don't pronounce the S, man. They keep that S silent, which is, you know, weird. Like Illinois. <laughs> Illinois. This is awesome. Room's filling up. We got people coming up on stage. This is good. I, I, was, I was really nervous about today. Oh, man. I would never be nervous, bro. Like, like you, you're a superstar. It's the first man. time I've been nervous in a long time. You know, you know, I've, I've been, I've been, I've been doing this now for a little while, and I've been, uh, you know, conquering my fears. You know, facing them and conquering them, um, crushing them. Yes, yeah, not even speaking, just being one of them. Well, not even yeah. conquering. Yeah. Crushing. Thanks, man. <laughs> but anyway, I was just, I was just a little bit nervous that, uh, you know, like we were uh, gonna. It was Monday morning, and not not everyone would be uh, up in time. Morty, holy moly! Yeah, Just so relax, I fed you. Even I, Morty's amped up for the show. Morty is excited for the show. Holy smokes! I said yeah. Morty. So, anyway, I, I know his name is Morty. Actually, I said Morty. Uh, that's my <laughs> sister's dog's name, uh, which uh, Emmy got along with swimmingly when we were in Nashville on uh, Thursday and Friday. Maury, he's a cute little guy. Maury, Maury, Maury. Dude, you got to chant that, right? I know, the dude. The baby you know is not yours. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you. I am 350% sure I am not the baby daddy. You are the daddy. Okay. Uh, those never turned out well for anybody that was way more confident than they needed to be. Um, but Maury, the dog. Uh, I got to get a picture from my sister, and I got to post this thing. But he's, this dude's got a mohawk. Like, actually, no joke. Uh, they get uh, whatever his breed is. He's got a little bit of longer hair on his, on the top of his head, but they cut it into a mohawk, and this is amazing. Uh, they haven't found a uh, a groomer. Oh. They haven't found a groomer in Nashville yet that will dye it. Uh, but in, when they were, my sister's like in the what? she's like in that world, right? And so they uh, like they dye it green for St. Patrick's Day, like a little orange for uh, Halloween or whatever. Uh, they've done red for Valentine's Day or whatever. He's awesome, dude. Maury that's the, just that's, Maury the that's, Mohawk. Maury sounds Maury sounds great. Morty, on the other hand, is being a little asshole. He's like jump now onto the desk and he's like trying to like type on my keyboard, my very expensive keyboard. Stop it. Get out of the fucking coffee. Okay. Now that's where <laughs> now I draw the line. Your coffee? You can't have the zoo, <laughs> man. Yeah, no, no. He's not having coffee. This cat is not allowed. 
<laughs> so uh, anyway, look at Wadi with his hand up already. What a with these guys guys questions are for already. I love this. <laughs> What's going on, guys? No, yeah. I'm at the gym, so yes. Um, can you hear me good? Absolutely, man. You sound great. Coming through great. Okay. Yeah, a little bit out of breath, but nothing. Just want to stop by and say hello. Don't know how long um, the signal is gonna last here, but I figured I might as well join. There you go, man. And Pre say get your butts up and go work out. Okay. Listen. All right. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Take take Wadi's word for it. Go check his uh, go check his account out. Make sure you give him a follow. Uh, truly, truly inspirational to all of us. Keeps uh, keeps the uh, the motivation going, man. So uh, keep pushing it, making us better. We love you, brother. No excuses. Yeah, man. Wadi is uh, Wadi is an inspiration to me because uh, I, I always felt like I was Did you scrawny uh, to work out. Alpha that I put out there this morning. You can Alpha, oh. can you hear Carrie talking? No, I can't. Oh fuck. I'm gonna have to take a lap. All right, we'll we'll see you in a second. <laughs> no worries. I love Twitter, man. Uh it's so funny. Even now everybody, everybody gets it now. Like it's just like a oh, it's one of that that situation. Like, yeah, I'll just hop. You don't even have to tell anybody. Yeah, it's like, Twitter oh, again. Pop down Thanks, Daddy pop Elon. Up. Is it Daddy Elon or Uncle Elon? What are we like? I don't fucking know, dude. I, I don't like calling him daddy. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of. I don't call anybody of, daddy anymore. Speaking of, uh, our NFT daddy, uh, Carrie, is uh, super excited about the show today, as I am. Uh, this is yeah. this has been like weeks in the making, and I'm glad that we finally got this to uh, to happen. I know we wanted to actually talk before the fight, but things were a little hectic, and then I'm glad we didn't sign up for the Monday after the fight because I was still brain dead. Uh, but uh, we are here now, finally, hanging out with the mad scientist. What's up, fam? How are you? And is this this is Zerk, right? All behind the count. Yeah, GM, GM. How you doing? Thanks for having me. Um, just going to say, I love your voice, G-Chains. Uh, it's so smooth. Smooth as butter. Thanks, brother. You're a great host, man. I, I think <laughs> you're made to do this job. But yeah, happy to be here. I think it was weeks in the making and uh, excited to finally chat on Web3 Breakfast. Yes, let's go. I'm freaking pumped. Uh, so what's been going on? What uh, what have you guys been doing? I know, you know, obviously, Kerry's filled us in. He's now got himself uh, several mad scientists. But uh, talk to us. Uh, in the in the words of Maverick. Yeah, like, talk, talk okay, so, so Zerk. Zerk, Zerk, I freaked out. I freaked these guys out, like, because I've been in since, like, stream swap, right? Like, day one. And so I was like, guys, like these guys are my like NFT fam. So I've been like, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Like, I'm like, I'm more of a like crypto guy. People, I want to be in on this NFT project like so badly. And there's this like weird thing. And I'm like, swap, like, they're like, dude, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, this sounds like some kind of fucking weird experiment that you're being like a part of. And like, <laughs> we don't want nothing to do with it. Get out of here. You and your cosmos fucking nonsense. But um, so yeah, if you could talk about like I don't know, man, the origins uh, and of the project, the, the, the NFT Fi aspect, because that also brought me into it. The fact, um, and, you know, talk a little bit about um, osmosis, soft staking, fucking Mad University. You know, anything yeah, I you want to know? I want to know more about that. Roll. I want to know about the Mad University thing because I saw you had posted something, Carrie, uh, like another enrollment. And uh, to be perfectly honest, like I, I don't know enough to know enough, and so I'm going to need a uh, a full crash course on on what all of that is as well. Yeah, I I enrolled. Thank you, Carrie, so much, man. You helped me out. You he literally walked, held my hand as I walked through every little detail of it, and now I am enrolled, and I'm a mad scientist. I just need a PFB. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. Well, uh, Carrie, uh, two things. I'm going to need you to hold my hand, uh, figuratively and metaphorically, please. No worries. I can do that for you, man. Nice. We're, we're bros. Bros. We're family, man. Yeah, absolutely. No ditty. Nice. Well, if you want, I can take it from the top as well and just yeah, kind think... of explain what the project is about. I think that'd, uh, be, just that'd, again. Be, that'd be great. Yeah, just to level set everybody. I don't know how people are familiar with the cosmos as a whole so might as well start <laughs> uh but yes yeah, so mad scientists is the first nft project on a chain called osmosis which is part of the cosmos ecosystem and little known fact osmosis is the most popular chain uh, per user 
in the Cosmos ecosystem. So it's kind of like this big decentralized exchange, a big DEX for all the tokens trading within the Cosmos. And they have over a million users um, in terms of activity and all those other nice metrics. It is the most used chain in the Cosmos ecosystem, hence the most popular chain. Uh, in our opinion, we're very bullish on this Osmosis chain. So uh, tokens can trade either on Osmosis or they're part of your favorite that, uh, set centralized exchange. So Binance and things like that, it is listed on that. So if you want to check out Osmosis.zone, great UI, great decks, great products. And uh, we're very privileged to be part of this ecosystem and to be the first NFT project on Osmosis. So I think the provenance of Mad Scientist is, is kind of one of the big value prop, prop, uh, props of this project uh, because Osmosis is a permission chain. And what that means is that not everybody can deploy whatever smart contract they want on that chain. Some people think, you know, that's not really good, but actually it's really good for security because there's very little scams and you can deploy something if you pass a prop. So basically there's a governance uh, process and then if you want to deploy a meme coin launchpad or an NFT project, whatever, you can do that uh, by passing a proposal and that being the, that being voted on so hence uh we're the only nft project and the first nft project on osmosis zone uh i've been an nft degen for a while and very excited to kind of be launching this but also we're very aware of issues with nft launches and what carrie was talking about earlier is us pioneering a new process, a new way of minting NFTs. So not only is this the first NFT project on Osmosis, but it is also the first NFT project to mint using a novel process that uses an app called StreamSwap. So basically how it works is you get this token called Lab and everybody had a fair shot at getting the token called lab the big difference here is there are no whitelists it wasn't a stealth mint you know you didn't have to be the fastest person or having some mev bot to kind of get the tokens before that you couldn't snipe the contract there was nothing to to be done because everybody had two days to get the lab token and everybody would be paying the same price for that lab token so it's kind of like this slow gradual release of lab token everybody got in on the lab token and after you got the lab token well then you could mint a mad scientist nft so in this way we kind of solved for bots we solved for annoying whitelists and and for stealth launches so i guess the two really big innovations here with mad scientists is kind of this unique minting process as well as having the provenance of being the first profile picture slash nft collection on osmosis so right. that's kind of just to explain uh quickly about what mad scientists are that, that's awesome man. i appreciate that now let me ask you a question um because this is you know typically when you know i think in my mind at least when i get a chance to talk to somebody that doesn't launch on you know one of the we'll call the main chains right uh, it just then the the questions start to be well all right so where did you get like your start like what chains did you like I, I started with Ethereum right we had some people that we know that started in you know the BNB chain or you know over on um, Kronos now uh, so like where did you get your start and what was all, the ultimate deciding factor for you to not go with did, did uh, I lose the, uh, oh sorry I lost connection no you're good so uh, can you hear can you hear me now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so ultimately, what was what was your deciding factor to use Osmosis for versus, you know, what other chain that, you know, potentially you got your start in, in the crypto ecosystem with that potentially was either a turnoff or, you know, Osmosis was the better solution? Uh, does that question make sense? Yeah, sure, absolutely. And, and just to tell you, you know, I'm a co-founder of, of Mad Scientist, but uh, I don't want to shill another project, but I'm also a co-founder of, of Rec Gang. Okay. And at Rec Gang, we have launched on 11 different chains. Oh, shit. So okay. 
like I said, I am an NFT degen and I'm familiar <laughs> with all the chains. So I do have projects on ETH and, and you know, uh, BNB, Polygon, Solana. All, all these chains are amazing. I think every chain has pros and has some cons, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I guess the ETH ecosystem is the one with quote unquote the biggest liquidity. I would argue Solana as well is is a, is a very close competitor in terms of NFTs. Mm-hmm. But it really depends on what the goal of your NFT project is. You have to have a mission, right? You have to have a purpose for that NFT project. You can't just launch, you know, JPEGs and we want to do a community and and that's it, right? Because that's not really a roadmap. Our vision, our goal is to grow the osmosis ecosystem because we're very bullish on osmosis. And why are we so bullish on osmosis? Well, one, I did say it is the most used chain within the cosmos ecosystem and we love the cosmos, but also osmosis is pivoting, I guess, maybe I don't use the word pivoting, but expanding to become a Bitcoin layer two. And I think everybody is extremely bullish on Bitcoin as a whole. And everybody can agree that Bitcoin scaling is something that is super interesting and probably is going to be uh, very important in the near future. So Osmosis wants to become this Bitcoin layer two. We already know it's an excellent DEX, but eventually they want to be trading you know, all these great DRC tokens or ordinals mm-hmm. on Osmosis as well and incorporating Bitcoin security within the network. So we see a lot of potential within Osmosis. Hence, we think that positioning it, the first NFT collection on Osmosis is a great idea. And plus, uh, Cosmos is a great builder's, you know, I, I would even say it's a builder's paradise. There's so many devs and builders within the Cosmos, which is amazing, right? But the issue, or I guess is the, the small drawback is that all these devs building cool shit, but they don't have the marketing prowess or, or the marketing power or even, the, you know, the interest in promoting some of their products in kind of getting acquiring that user base. So, so that, that is complicated uh, within the Cosmos to get new users, new eyes. And us as an NFT project, I mean, our whole job is, is obviously to shill the PFP, but also we get this great community growth, which we can then leverage to promote the amazing builders within the Cosmos. So we feel like there's this huge unmet need of we have these amazing Cosmos devs, but they're not getting enough eyes on them. So let's leverage this mad scientist brand. Let's leverage this amazing community that we're building uh, in order to put eyes on those devs. And then the whole ecosystem grows. And I guess there's a mutually beneficial partnership afterwards within this, uh, you know, between the NFT project and those devs, the Cosmos ecosystem, and Osmosis as a whole. So for us, um, I guess, yeah, that, a lot of words to say that we feel there's huge potential on Osmosis. We're really grateful to be the first NFT collection because the provenance becomes really strong in that way. And, and finally, um, yeah, we want to be working with the devs and collaborating together, and we feel there's an unmet need uh, on Osmosis chain. So I hope that answers the question. I don't know if I... No, absolutely. No, I think that's great. Uh, and, and knowing, you know, obviously, you know, you said you didn't want to show your other projects, but, you know, putting that into context that, you know, you are you are a multi-chain mother chucker. I think that's I mean, that's fantastic. Right. That, that sets the whole thing. And, you know, obviously, you know, you, you we all have our favorites. Uh, and I'm really glad that, you know, not only has, you know, Carrie brought, you know, osmosis and some of this stuff to our attention, but, you know, being able to chat with you and I mean, you're a very brilliant person. Uh, definitely. That was a, uh, it was a great answer. Carrie, you're such a gentleman, man. You don't have to raise your hand. You know that. You could just like he's Canadian. It's a Canadian <laughs> I just wanted thing. I'm Canadian too, so, you know, exactly, not, not, man. Oh man, and that's another. Thing. Yeah, well, I didn't want to get into that part of it. I was kind of trying to leave that, uh, you know, for other people to figure out on their own. I just wanted to say as a sidebar that, um, yeah, Osmosis. Uh, another reason to be bullish. Grayscale, who we all know and love, mm-hmm. is uh, putting out a, something called a dynamic uh, income ETF, which is going to uh it's basically about staking um uh earning off of uh of coins that they can stake so solana is included in that but also 
um, Osmosis and Adam. So, um, mm-hmm. I mean, that's another reason. You know, like out of all the Dexes, they've had, and the other day, fucking Kramer, of all people. I mean, he was like, what's this about Osmosis? On, uh, on, on like CNBC or some shit, like, or MSNBC. Oh, wow. Blew my mind. I couldn't believe it. Oh, yeah, okay, so, so I mean, it's starting to get out there. Like, I, I thought they had marketing problems, but now we're starting to hear about it in the mainstream. So, yeah, there's reason to be bullish on Oswo. Yeah, I'm looking at this uh, this grayscale uh, dynamic income fund. Uh, what you were just saying, yeah, the uh, the the performance and holdings of the uh, you know of this whole thing. It says Solana is 27, about you know a little over 27 percent of the holdings near about 18%, Osmosis about 14%, and then other 41. It uh, doesn't break down what the other are. Uh, but that's pretty interesting that, you know, they are named as one of the uh, the main investments for uh, the holdings for this uh, dynamic income fund. Huh. Yeah, and Kerry, I pinned up top this, this convo that uh, Kramer had with Gary G uh, about, you know, having this Osmosis ETF. So I guess Grayscale name right like the marketing from that is very powerful i was uh, in new york for, for devmos actually this this weekend which is kind of like this dev conference for for cosmos people and at the okay airport, fine everywhere. thanks so miss okay oh sorry uh, hang on oh. one second bud uh i'll mute his mic go ahead man you can, you can continue <laughs> no no i was just gonna close it out by saying that uh, grayscale ads for crypto were everywhere in that airport at LaGuardia and and outside, I mean, New York. So I feel like uh, the normies will be buying some of these ETFs and and that's how they're going to get exposure to to crypto. And uh, it's amazing that Osmosis is part of that basket. So I feel like all these grayscale coins eventually end up doing pretty well. Um, so I'm excited for, yeah, again, like I said, the Bitcoin layer too, the grayscale thing is a great point carry and, and obviously us being the first collection on it. I think uh, we're well positioned there. You know, you, you just said something, uh, you were talking about like airport signage and that's funny. I was just thinking about that because I just, I, I've been traveling a little bit lately and, you know, even into cities that don't have crypto conferences on the, you know, like, in, you know, in the, in the near future or whatever, but you are seeing crypto ads in airports, which is funny. I wonder, you know, who the, the marketing company behind this is that's a fantastic uh place because you've got people with for the most part uh you know some kind of uh expendable income if you are able to travel uh so that's a really interesting concept is to uh is to you know promote crypto and do some uh, some advertisements throughout the airports uh because you you do see that more and more and it is grayscale uh i definitely remember i forget where the hell i flew into recently and uh, there was a big like a big huge almost like a a billboard size thing like you know, when you go down the escalator and it was a big grayscale uh, advertisement. I think, yeah, they're pushing for it. I mean, I don't like to talk crypto with, with my family because I feel like they're going to get burned <laughs> um, and I don't want to be responsible for it. But the people keep asking me more and more about, you know, how to get involved. And uh, I usually tell them, I don't know what you're talking about. But, but, if there, <laughs> but if there was a way, right, like I feel this would be the most normy way is, is buying an ETF yeah. uh, versus, you know, kind of opening your wallet and all those things. That, that is a little more uh, power usury than, than just uh, doing the normal way of this, uh, buying stock. This- you know, this is uh, sorry, this is our chance. This is we have the opportunity this year for all the people that are asking about crypto. Like what I've been saying is this is this is the year though, right? Like, you know, most times, you know, it's very volatile. A lot of the stuff that you hear in the news is true. You know, you can you can get wrecked very easily. But what I tell people is like this year, it's different. This is the opportunity. Like, if you want to get into crypto, now is your time because we are about to experience the parabolic bull run of all bull runs and you honestly like you shouldn't be able to lose like if you just participate uh and don't you know leverage trade and you just buy and hold for the next several months like (sighs) you just can't lose right like i know nothing is guaranteed in life but knowing uh what uh what we've got in store for us you know in the next several months unless something catastrophic happens and the bull runs over which i highly doubt uh you literally you you become the hero, like right? Isn't that shouldn't that be the narrative? Like, hey, you got your family in crypto. You tell them, like, listen, time is of the essence here. If you've been thinking about getting in, now you got to do it. This is the this is the year. 
Maybe, you know, in 2025, we're going to start to see the prices go back down. That's when you get out. But right now is your chance. Take the opportunity. What do you guys think? Should we be the heroes I, of the family I, or do we want to just like not do it? I, right now, I'm like telling people, just like Zerky said, I'm like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Crypto, what? Because like, honestly, I was like for the last two years trying to say like, yo, this is the time not to sleep. This is the time not to sideline yourself. Get the fuck into this now. No. Well, it's cheap. And they're like, dude, it's going down, dude. Why would I want to get into something that's going down? And I'm like, hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just, and I, Grumpy so character. now that I, was, I, I was... get what Zerk's saying. I don't want to, I don't want to bring my, my family into like a losing battle, but like you have to have a, a more than a four year time horizon. That's all. That's it. I mean, or you say, listen, this is the, the you got, Eight months, just get in, get out, and then reevaluate the situation. We'll we'll reassess when we get to the 2028 bull run, if that's still a thing. Unless, uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'll, Mr. Dude, I want to get to your hand, uh, but I want to pose this question and get to Dude's hand, Mr. Dude's hand, and then we'll pick it back up. Uh, but we have seen the meme coin cycle lengthen. It is a longer meme coin cycle than we've ever seen. Is that indicative of the fact that we will have a longer bull cycle? Or is that just a super cycle, if you will? The super cycle. It's. I mean, the narrative. I've never been. A, I've never been the super cycle kind of guy. I am a. You know, history uh, doesn't repeat, but it rhymes. And this four year thing has. Uh, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, kind of thing. However, uh, the money coming in is a little different now. The ETFs, the institutions, all that. We know retail's not even here yet. So, with that being said, uh, are we going to experience the super cycle because we've seen the longer meme coin cycle? All right, Mr. Dude, that's a completely different say, question. Well, you don't yeah. have to answer that so if you don't want no, to. No, it's okay. I want to touch on both. Those are great. So touching on the first point, I think it's easier to talk to your family about Bitcoin just because it's everywhere. So you can almost just say like Bitcoin safe. Yes, crypto is scammy in general, but like our grandparents still get those phone calls that are like, yeah, it's still try and get scammed, right? We get text messages that are scammed. So they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and as long as we just continue to educate, like, sure, like, buy Bitcoin, don't worry about these stupid meme coins, even though, like, I literally promote them on a daily basis. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's literally my whole fucking job. Um, but uh, moving into, like, your next question, I think we could hit, like, a super cycle, and but maybe this is, like, a one-off cycle where it is the only super cycle we get because it's the first time all this thing, all the new money pumps in, and then it kind of goes back to a four-year cycle again in the future where... It could still be a bull, but it won't be like this bull because everyone will have had money in there for four years. Uh -huh. But, you know, could be totally wrong because I'm wrong very, very often. Um, and that's just like a guess, essentially, right? Is it just a one-off because it's all going to be brand new to normies and businesses and whatnot? And, and, and who's to say, right, that this isn't, again, we've talked about basically like the landscape of I investing has changed, right? Like now we are forming these investing community clubs, right? It's not just, you know, you're not just uh, betting on the high cap coins. You're not just betting on the coins now. It's like each like blockchain is building its own ecosystem and there is so much come being built from it right like we've taken let's use you know bitcoin as the example right we've taken this this finite supply everybody's like the, the one of the biggest selling points of bitcoin is that there's only 21 million that's it that's all it'll ever be but now we've broken that up to where now we've built this little ecosystem inside of those 21 million so technically we've got more than 21 million we've got brc20 tokens we've got ordinals we've got all this other shit that's being built in that this is again this is the first time think about we just went through nft cycle number one right we just literally we are like hopefully you know coming back up to the positive swing of things but you know nfts as we know them just went through their first cycle this could be something brand this could be the first cycle of what you know digital currency investing is about you know now that we've fundamentally molded the two we've brought coins and nfts together we're creating these communities of people who are getting friendships they're becoming business like lives are changing because of how we've built this ecosystem and how it's like being formed around us right again we are completely changing the landscape because you are never supposed to get married to your investments however when we form our clubs in our communities and we're there every single day and we make our friends how in the world can you not be married to your investments well, times are changing, and I think you know it's, we are really got to be paying attention to how these cycles are going. I mean, who knows? Maybe the cycles are over, 
because now if real, you've got real quick, just look at look at gold, man. Just real quick, look at the gold. Look at the gold chart over time. Actual gold, the price of an ounce of gold before the ETFs, uh, it was like a couple hundred bucks. You know, after the ETFs, boom, it never went back down. Do you ever think we're going to see a couple hundred bucks? fucking ounce of gold in there that, that's it's not gonna like, happen you know it, and i'm right. not saying up only but at some point you know this uh this this crypto ecosystem is going to mature to a level to where maybe you know and we've talked about this for years that the volatility goes away you know like the stock market is going to come down to meet us a little bit the stock market might get a little bit more volatile but crypto is going to grow up and become less volatile and i think we will find some blend in the middle and again the investment ideas and philosophies are changing right in front of our eyes mad scientists zerk what you got my guy yeah yeah great talk i love this chat um I, just just to get back i agree i mean i think bitcoin is kind of the safest uh asset that i would introduce my family if they really push comes to shove um and i'm a big advocate for something as simple as dollar cost averaging a little bit of money you know into bitcoin that to me makes sense and and i think everybody at the point that the fundamentals actually have changed, right? We have seen ETF approvals of Bitcoin and, and Ethereum uh, soon, right? So before, I, I guess last year, somebody asked me, do you ever see a Bitcoin ETF? And I said, no, that this is never going to happen. They've been trying to push for this for, you know, 10 years and it never happened. And now it did happen. So that fundamentally has changed. Another thing that I noticed is, uh, I guess you were mentioning the stock market and what happened with the whole GameStop saga. I think there was a lot of eyes on it. Mm -hmm. And I think the best thing to come out of that is uh, GameStop is printing new shares every, you know, every time they have, every opportunity they have, they print new shares. They, I feel that they fuck it up all the time. That you know, the company, right? The company. I, I feel you know, and and that kind of shows you the power of of crypto as a whole, where there isn't a person that can say, "Let's print new Bitcoin," right? Like the the, the supply is finite, or or even if it if it's not, even if it is an inflationary token, you know exactly what to expect. There's not going to be like one person deciding all of a sudden, "Let's print new." new tokens and let's just sell it um so i feel like you know people get educated and a lot of this gamestop people are going to be interested in crypto and how it's so immutable so i think like the core values of crypto are coming out the kind of the immutability the decentralization um you know kind of having real ownership all these things are coming out to the surface and people are actually learning about the real value prop of crypto. And I think this is very important because before it was, you know, number go up and I just want to be rich. And now it's a little different. It's a little more philosophical. It's a little more concrete. Well, I guess that's how I wish it, it, it becomes. So people yeah, truly understand totally. why they get invested in the space. Yeah, well, I, I think um, piggybacking off what you were saying is like the people at the GameStop is like the people are speaking. Like in that whole area, like the people are coming together and they're speaking up and it's almost like, you know, a collective F you to like the Wall Street and whatnot saying like, you can't just take everything and win all of the time. And then you're right, they're going to take profits. They're going to realize that crypto is totally different. Also the transparency and everything that it has. And yes, we can't print more Bitcoin, which forces people to come up with something new like you guys have come up with, you know, the, with the lab and the and the and the Osmos chains and the ETHs and everything else like that. And some will be successful and some will fail, but that's also just business. And if we have like, let's just say 8, 8 billion people on the planet and only 4 billion people get into crypto in our lifetime, we're still in like the millions of people, right? Like that's how early we are in crypto's life is it's still just a baby. And then so getting our families, like Jay Chains, you said your goal is $50 million this next bull, bull run, right? So even with that, like, that's enough to take care of your family. Like, who are we kidding? Where it's like, don't worry. Like I did the experiments and I, I'll help you guys out. I'm not going to pay for your whole lives, but I'm going to make sure you're not poor. Where it's just like, that's where we can all go. Like we're so, so, so early in the lifespan of crypto still that who knows where it's going to be. It's, I mean, that's facts, man. We are, we don't know. We don't know where this is going because it is so early. We don't know how it gets adopted on what kind of level on what kind of scale we, 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 kind of have an idea of where it's headed, right? Especially with uh, the tokenization of everything that we know to have some kind of value in the real world. That was that was my intentional pause to let Carrie go without being called for. <laughs> 
but Gary, go ahead. Oh, shit. I, t- I wanted to try something. I want to try something. Okay. Can I try something? Of course. Okay. This is a Web3 Breakfast. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're halfway through the show right now. Uh, usually we go for about an hour. Uh, so I just want to take this moment to thank everybody for uh, stopping in. This is uh, a, an excellent turnout. I was personally scared shitless this morning that no one was going to turn out. But, you know, that's just me. And uh, I also wanted to remind everyone that, yes, I will be giving away zero point. Holy shit, Trendy's in the room. Oh, Trendy is like one of the other co-founders. And he's like, uh, he lives in, oh, man. Stick to the script, Gary. They're going to fire you. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Stick to the script. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I'm giving away, I'm giving away 0.1 lab to, uh, to somebody who does not own a mad scientist already. Okay, so or 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 hold any lab because um, the whole point of Mad University, which we're going to talk about in a second, is if you hold zero point one lab, you can take part in the Mad University. And so I'm not going to spoil that or like fuck up talking about it because I just suck at talking sometimes. Um, so I'm going to hand that back over to uh, to Zerk. Nailed it, Carrie. This is the first time you could have officially slipped in, though. This space is actually being sponsored by Carrie's employers, Cosmos. <laughs> oh, we'll hit you. We're here. Here we go. We'll hit you with that. All right. All right. So, uh, so let's learn a little bit about maybe, like, I don't know. At first, I was like thinking maybe. Uh, Explain NFT fire or sauce staking, but that's kind of boring. Let's talk about Mad University because that's something that everybody can take uh, part in, and it's something that you can take part in for like uh, very cheaply. And um, you can, uh, you know, uh, we're going to do a giveaway. So uh, I don't know how to do a Twitter pecker, dude. You're going to have to do that. I've made the post. Okay. You know, did you see the post? Can you use? Can you use that? Can do I have to pin that to the top? I'll pin on, to the ceiling. I'll pin, pin that to the ceiling. Pin, yeah. it, pin it to the uh, what do we call it? The uh ceiling the, the jtron the j the I, I was trying to i was like i remember yeah. i remember it was something the to do with like, yeah, that's right the jtron hey yo carrie throw it up in the jtron yo there's a couple messages up there guys make sure that you're clicking that stuff uh let's see we got a couple from our friends at pussy monster they're doing a giveaway uh more than a more than a meme coin absolutely guys as soon as i get back from london uh we are going to be hitting the ground running on several fronts uh i would also like to get uh, Mr. Dude, you and I got to talk like probably today because we got to get started uh, setting stuff up for the booby coin. Would love to launch that probably when I get back, right? Yeah, that makes sense. It, it would probably be better to be at my computer uh, for like a couple days in a row. So, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, we need you at your battle station for that. Man your battle stations. Men, it's time to go to war. So we've got uh, a lot of work to do, uh, but I will be in London. I leave tomorrow. I will be back on Sunday. So next Monday, a week from today, uh, ladies and and gentlemen, we are going to be doing a lot. But that starts next week. Let's talk about Mad University because in all of this stuff, I've got to probably get myself some osmosis. I'm going to have to get myself some lab. I'm going to have to get myself a uh, a mad scientist as well. So, uh, But let's talk about the uh, the university. What? I'm gonna have Carrie, to. you're gonna handhold Jay Chang's uh, to uh, on how to onboard him to osmosis. It's really easy, really easy, but uh, still need to know the right links, right? You don't want to <laughs> click on some something scammy. Abs- absolutely, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll even record it. It'll just be like a it'll be just two guys, man, just going through some crypto stuff, like you know, friends, old homies, and uh, we'll do a stream hub or whatever they call it. Stream yard, stream yard, stream yard. Yeah, not stream hub. That sounds a little aggressive anyway <laughs> all right i can chat about mad university real quick here yeah. so was telling you earlier right we want to be connecting devs with some sort of marketing force and i think if you truly understand nfts or or the value prop of, of profile picture nfts more specifically you'd understand that the biggest utility for those is influence and what i mean by that is whenever you see somebody rocking a pudgy penguin or a milady you know that guy's gonna be like a retarded degenerate gambler (laughs) and whatever he feels 
it, whatever he shills, that, that might, you know, pop off because they have this whole community of retarded degenerate gamblers, which, which, which means, you know, you're kind of driving the market, leveraging your profile picture, leveraging your community to do some sort of action on chain. So I think that is always has always been the biggest value prop of profile picture NFTs. When people used to rock board apes, Whenever they write something, you know, they get lots of engagement. People believe what they say because they paid, you know, $100,000 for an NFT. It doesn't mean they're smart, but at least, you know, it says they own a $100,000 JPEG. So in that sense, influence uh, to me is one of the biggest value props of PFPs. And we wanted to kind of create that influential researcher community through mad university and obviously mad scientists you know scientists do research so it, it makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. and basically what mad university is is um, a program where you post about you know things that you learn in crypto uh it can be anything right like any sort of twitter engagement memes whatever brings visibility to you as a brand or, or i guess to mad scientists as a brand we will reward you with some points. And afterwards, you can use those points uh, to redeem for, I guess, some raffle tickets and win NFTs, win some osmosis, win some lab, win whatever. But basically, simply put, it is this kind of content creator slash engagement program on X to help people, you know, kind of grow their own brand in, in their own unique way and grow the mad sciences brand as a whole and gather more influence on crypto Twitter, and hence kind of then eventually you see Kerry with this really beautiful mad scientist PFP, whatever he writes, people are going to be like, oh shit, Kerry rocks the mad scientist, you know, whatever he says must be true or must be interesting or whatever. So in that sense, that was kind of the big idea of this mad university. And anybody can sign up to mad university and create content and get rewarded for points as long as you hold point one lab, as he said earlier. But we also have a booster or an amplifier where our program checks if you actually rock the PFP. So if you have set your profile picture to a mad scientist, it will check on Twitter and it will allocate more points to you because you are actually, you know, kind of using the mad scientist profile picture mm -hmm. and, and creating content on top. So obviously we want to reward you a little more because you're helping us grow the brand, grow the IP and all and all those cool things. So that, that's kind of like the program in a nutshell, Carrie. I don't know if you want to add a few comments on it, but we that 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 is basically the whole objective or purpose of this mad universe. I, well, I love that. Let me let me just make a comment on that really quick, Carrie, before you hop in. But I, I think that that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, you really because you're you're paying for marketing one way or the other, right? And it can either be you throw darts at the wall to see what's going to work and what doesn't. Or you literally use your community and you reward them. I think the tokenization and the monetization of you know how we're building these communities is very, very key, right? And in rewarding the community, the people that are there actually in the trenches participating, that's the move. I think you know a lot of a lot of projects should take that uh, out of your playbook and implement that because I mean you've seen we all know like you know a project will be like oh we're gonna spend fifty thousand dollars to get on Mario's show and then what the fuck do you get out of that like literally what do you get out of that uh, yeah a lot of times a lot of times honestly nothing yeah I, and that's just an example I I just use that as the example right like so there some people probably get some kind of you know uh, ROI out of that but again most projects are gonna spend a lot of money in marketing. And you're not really going to get the direct ROI, whereas you've got your community wearing the PFP, talking about it, creating the content. That network effect is the stuff that really, really will grow organically and how you want it to be. Because you don't really want a bunch of people to buy in just to wait for the price to go up and then to dump, right? Like you really want people to buy in that want to be there and participate. And there's no better way to do that than to reward your community for creating the content, being your marketing arm. And again, it's probably, I would venture to say the ROI on that kind of marketing is better than just throwing shit at KOLs. Yeah. And interestingly, I love how you use the, the word marketing here. It is the marketing arm of mad scientists, 
But uh, we also want to become the marketing arm of a protocol that we collab with. Let's say, I mean, easy, easy. Uh, let's say we want to be promoting a meme coin launch pad and they're just starting, right? They don't have any marketing. They can pay shillers or they can say, hey, we want to collab with Mad Sciences. And how about your community writes, you know, a little thread contest on, on our meme coin launch pad. And we create like some little artworks and then we kind of promote the meme coin launch pad, leveraging all this big community we have. And hey, hey, I'm so sure. sorry to jump in. Please oh, DM me as soon as the space ends. <laughs> I was just going to say, Mr. Dude and fucking Zerky need to talk like immediately. This is like a well, fucking match. I'm, I'm out of DD for a meme coin launch pad. So that, you just literally is like I, every, I all the bells started going off. <laughs> and I'm from Canada. So there you go. <laughs> Woo oh, I think, hey. When you guys, uh, when you guys sign the uh, the agreement to work together, I would assume y'all are going to pull out the finest of maple uh, and uh, and toast. Some yeah, we will definitely celebrate over some smoky maple syrup. Oh God, can you can you just invite me just so I could taste it or at least oh, smell 100%, it? Hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. You have to come up here though, because we know Gary can't get into America. <laughs> oh, you know I have trouble getting into Canada to do it. Uh, that's why we got to meet in the Caribbean. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck did you guys do that you can't travel across like the most traveled border? I don't know. Uh, you know, we're just uh, we're rebels without a cause. Just a couple of, <laughs> couple of guys living living their lives, living their their best lives, getting kicked out of countries. That's you know, it. just just trying to live in the land of the free and the and whatever Canada is, the other land of the free. I guess we're just trying to do our thing. You know, yeah, sorry, like, sorry, you know, sorry for getting off. Back to like the really cool part you're talking about. about yeah, continue. Back to yeah, yeah. <laughs> we basically. Oh, I, I just want to say like, uh, I, you know, mad scientists, the project. Like, what drew me to it I, first? Besides the IP and besides like the, I mean, everything about it, the artwork, the pixelated art, the music, everything spoke to me. It was like they were throwing darts at the wall. They were fucking throwing darts at the wall with passion and fucking fury. And I was like, these guys are fucking going to fucking nail the target eventually. And you're right, you're right Carrie. And the way you you talk about them, honestly, you do such a good job like um, talking about them and um, propping them up. One of the coolest things that I like is their openness that you know everything is an experiment. They're not trying to, you know, from what I've read and researched, they're not trying to like BS like, oh, we got this perfect roadmap and we're going to go here and we're going to go there and everything's going to be green. People like, get pissed. Be, People right, get you're pissed totally right, the roadmap so isn't there, right? Yes. And it's like, yo, there is no roadmap. Like, this is a fucking experiment. You have to understand that. Like, you know, and if you're not degen enough, maybe this isn't a project for you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know but also if you have a roadmap and you don't hit it perfectly people freak out too right so at least like by saying everything's an experiment like the the people who are willing to be in an experiment will like follow along and be on the ride right yeah buy the ticket take the ride i don't know any projects with roadmaps that you know people actually enjoy the full roadmap and and i did do projects where you know we completed the full roadmap and then and then what next right you got roadmap 2.0 so it's a never ending kind of development so in that sense and the crypto space is shifting all the time so if you say today we're going to be doing a meme coin launch pad let's get back to that because i like meme coins uh but um meme coins die off right like i don't know maybe something happens and, and it's really not a cool thing to do anymore for xyz reason then launching a meme coin launch pad makes absolutely no sense at that point. So you kind of really always have to be very agile and adapt to the space for whatever makes most sense. Uh, so in, in, a roadmap kind of puts all these rails and, and really crypto is not about that. Crypto is about experimentation. So to me, uh, roadmaps, you know, they never pan out or they, they just get outdated really quickly. Yeah, they, it's it's funny, like, you know, having a roadmap, you think being responsible, putting together a roadmap, uh, you think that that would be the right move. Uh, but I would agree with you. It's not. Uh, it gets you into a lot more trouble. Plus, I think, it, it, it you know, as far as what like the SEC is concerned, uh, that gives you a whole nother set of headaches. Uh, plus, you know, the community. A great way for toxicity to form uh, when when someone uh, starts to voice their opinion a little too early. When update, Dev? When update? 
When does? I mean, I always have an opinion, not that anybody listens. <laughs> I love that. I, love it. I see Dr. Bruce popped in here. What's up, Dr. Bruce? What's popping, man? How are you feeling? Good, man. Wanted to say, uh, you know, I've seen you jumped into karate combat. Yes. I haven't really seen you much, so I want to come in and say, you know, took courage. Fucking fought like a warrior. Thank you, brother. Didn't get that dub. Next one I will, though. That's all right. That's all right, man. It's the first one. You're darn right. And uh, I'll tell you what. That was that was some thing. And he, he stood up for the right. He stood up for what was right. You know, we have our little joke about, like, the, the Star Trek Rebel Alliance and uh, the evil empire. <laughs> and, uh, you know. Uh, Star Wars. I know, but Jay Chains always <laughs> calls it Star Trek for some reason to drive me fucking crazy. So I thought I'd play his. Okay, good. Yeah, trigger me. L live, live, <laughs> live long and. Uh, no, I was trying to mix the two. Uh, live, live long, long and, and may the force be with you. Live, live, live long, live, live long and, and, and you. May, uh, may Darth Vader be your daddy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've gone off the rails. It might be time for the giveaway. What do you think? I think that's great. How do we do it? I, first How do we do off, a giveaway? Really, really quick, before we do that, uh, uh, because I'll have to think about how I get in there. Uh, because, again, I get myself screwed up here because I have to switch over to the Web3 Breakfast account. Well, no, that doesn't mean I'm, oh, I'm basically no. just making lies. I can figure it out. Uh, it's a, your post, so I can find it on your account. I don't have to do anything. I just have to go to Twitter Picker, which I can do. It's right at right. the very tippity tip top. Ooh, just Not the, the tip top. Just, but just the, the tip? It's just down from the tip. It's just like the top end of the shaft. Oh, okay. We're being a little bit more descriptive now. Uh, Sorry, see. Mom. <laughs> hey, hey, while Jay Change is doing that, uh, Zer, could you maybe just quickly explain? So, like, okay, I got my point one lab. What? So I have to buy lab? Is How do I get a mad scientist now? Oh, there's, oh, this is good. <laughs> um, so with Point One Lab, you can join the university. That's what you can do. Yeah, did that check. check? Check. So if you want to buy a mad scientist, you actually have two options. So you can go on a marketplace called Stargaze. I don't know if you're familiar with this marketplace. It is the biggest NFT marketplace within the Cosmos ecosystem, and they have lots of choices for mad scientists NFTs. So, um, and, and if I do that route, do I have to buy in lab or do what do I buy? No, you, you, you can buy in their currency, which is called stars. And to get stars, they have this little tab called get stars and you can get stars from any chain. It can be Ethereum, Polygon, Base, um, I believe they even have a bridge from Salami now as well. So if you want to get some stars from Soul, you can do that as well. And then once you have your stars, you can just pick the mad scientists that you want. Another marketplace we have is on Osmosis called Necropolis. Similar thing. You can purchase uh, your NFT. And in that, in there, you need some Osmosis to, to, to buy the NFT. So there are two marketplaces that we have. We have one on Stargaze and another one on osmosis and here you get to pick the nft that you want so if you find one that's aesthetically pleasing to you you can get that um there's uh, another option and this is to mint an nft and this is was, was what i was mentioning earlier where if you hold 10 lab you can actually mint a brand new so mad scientist a random one the collection has not minted out and will never mint out. And that's kind of how it was done by design. Some people just want to hold lab token and not mint the NFT, right? It's their choice. It's kind of like an unrevealed pack of Pokemon cards where you hold the lab and that is unrevealed mad scientists. Maybe you'll that's mint no a really rare one or not. So, so how much in our fake Canadian money roughly does it cost for the te for 10 lab? Hello. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, just one second, sir. Yeah. Uh, we just got a, a question coming in from the Mr. Dude to the Mad Scientist. We'll be with you in just a second, brother. Yeah, so lab today, I think, is, is something. Uh, one lab is $32, so so 10 lab is $320 US dollars. And you are paying a premium 
for minting an NFT because there is that whole, you know, experience and you're unopening, you're opening a pack of cards and you maybe get getting something rare versus buying on the secondary market. Um, there you can pick, but but usually, you know, the ones that are on floor are a little more common. Yeah, yeah, right. So, okay, Jay Chase, can you send me three hundred and twenty dollars, please, sir? Yes, right away. Right away, sir. Uh, Zerk, really, really quick. Uh, I think I'm absolutely there. I've got all sorts of things running through my mind right now. But did you refer to Solana as Salami? Yes, I call them the Salami. Okay. Uh, how do you refer to Solana? That, that is the only way to refer to Solana. Every time I hear someone say, like, yo, it costs 10 soul, I think of Mortal Kombat. It's like, your soul is mine every time. Finish him. Uh, yeah, so be looking out for the token Salami. Uh, with the NFT collection coming out later today. <laughs> the fucking salami. You should definitely drop that. NFT you, like, you need to drop that salami and all of the NFTs are just different meats. Oh, God. Dude, all right. Nobody's allowed to take our idea. I know there's like, there's like literally like a trademark, 200 trademark. people watching on, on X. Just forget what you just heard. That's our project. And if you're in the space, you are. Mr. Decided. Dude, that could be your first meme coin on your new launch pad. Call it salami. <laughs> it has to be an A, not a salami. Right. <laughs> right. It has to be salami, right? Solami. That's the meme. And I'll just like get billboard. I'll get billboards all over Italy if people are going to go nuts. Man, I want to join. I want to be the, uh, I want to be on that team. I want to be like a junior. Maybe you spon- your next fight is going to be sponsored by a salami. Beat, Shut your mouth. Get, get beat by this meat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't, don't get beat do, by this meat. Fun- yeah, fungible to edible, right? Basically, <laughs> use 10 salami and redeem a real salami that is shipped to your house. Carry in the uh, pot. How can I get high out there? Mechanic. I want to burn some salami. Yeah, well, we're gonna have. They you are, just eat it, right? It you is. Just, you just eat it to burn it. Well, it is a uh, it is a THC based salami. Just so you know, uh, they will be one thousand milligram uh, links, and you can break them up into whatever dosage you need. Uh, that's our project coming out. So, thank you. Should we pick a winner? I got a great song for that. Yes. Yo, we're gonna slap a slap a a a, a, a mad scientist NFT on the package and <laughs> call it a day, man. <laughs> yeah, because it's an experiment. Just experimenting with food. That's it. Mad salami. It's happening. All right. Oh my we, god. Here we go. Uh, we might need more retweets on on Carrie's post in order for it to qualify. Oh, come on, man. We got like how many people in here? But oh, because some of them are rocking already. They already got um, mad scientists in their bags. So I was. Okay. I just wanted to give it away to someone who didn't have. Yeah, I'll, re- I'll retweet it, and then if I win, we'll just give it to J Chance can have it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fair. You guys are nice. How many well, I mean, we try. Uh, typically, I think you need ten retweets. I am showing. You're up to you're up to sixteen. Like seven. Really? I just retweeted oh. it, so I think it worked. I think we're. Oh, no, oh we're I'm looking team. at the wrong post. Anyway, I'm a freaking bozo. Or it's the lab giveaway. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hey, uh, J Chains, can't you log into multiple X accounts simultaneously? Uh, on my computer, I don't believe so. Unless I use like a, a what's it called, um, incognito tab or something. But no, it like it's all weird. So during the show, I've been logging into the Web Three Breakfast account to, which I should probably put it in the room. That's pretty weird that I don't. Uh, but I just use it so that I can pull it up uh, on the screen. So if people do watch the live stream, that they realize it's not just me talking to myself. That there are other people uh, here. That there is a whole space uh, of people. Uh, listening and participating and not just me all right uh do we do they have to follow you carrie does the winner have to follow it'd you it'd be or, nice oh, i follow, mean yeah, I, yep it'd be you, nice you put it in there so it's good they got to follow you <laughs> and the mad scientists yeah and the mad scientists of course because like there's you're just doing it wrong otherwise yeah i mean i don't know why you wouldn't want to follow <laughs> the mad scientists that's no it's like a no-brainer Okay, but um, so yeah. Have... So if you can uh, spin that Twitter picker, all right. I just gotta... is that how it works? Do you just spin a wheel and it and it, and it picks somebody randomly? Yep. Uh, so what I got to do is just load up all of the. Let's see, and then they got to follow Kerry McCook. There he is. There's my guy. All right. I don't care. <laughs> Kerry McCook. Did you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome, dude. 
Oh my God, I've uh, never heard no, that before. Yeah. Carrie McCook. I uh, Cook. Oh yeah, it's, I see. Because I yeah, it's Carrie M. Cook. That was me being a bozo. <laughs> uh, okay, so winner. Use filters. It can be any. All right, all right. Why won't this continue? What's going on here? Load tweet. Here it is. Oh yeah, I got to do. I forget that I've got to do this, or else nobody will believe me that this is real. So share tab. All right, we're on the Twitter picker. Continue. All right, it's loading here. We have got 19 entries. Good luck to our 19 people. Uh, we will continue here. One thing I do like to make sure is we don't show the rejected because there's nothing I can do to control that. Uh, this is so exciting. Right. Okay, also remember, um, if you uh, are the winner, you're going to need a Kepler or a, um, a Cosmos uh, compatible wallet. All right, can I get a drum roll? Send your, uh, can I get a drum roll, please? And the winner is 6 a.m. Doug. Our guy, Dougie uh, Doug. Baby, baby. Baby, baby. You deserve it after the shitty weekend you have. Yes. Are you kidding me? Yes. Hey, well, I have never anything. Yes. You guys are Everyone who wins says that, though, so I feel like at some point people are definitely lying. No, genuinely, never, never, never have I ever Proof won anything for this Post videos of your whole life or we don't believe you anymore. <laughs> I feel, like I I feel good about this. I feel good about this because Doug is going to, uh, Doug is a, also a, a scientist in, in his own right. He's a, an electrical uh, madman and uh, he's, got a, he's got a lab of his own that I, he shows me pictures of and I love it. Just makes my uh, makes my eyes light up. So this is going to be an exciting, uh, exciting ride. I love that. And if the FBI is listening, it's not a meth lab. It's not a meth lab. Yeah. No, it's definitely not a meth lab. Of course not. You know what? I'm super excited. I'm I'm super excited you won that. But more importantly, I am super excited to get to hang out with Doug in the next week. Unlike you, Bozo. Oh my god! You, yeah, the two of you, me. should get Carrie to walk you through the process together. Ooh. Oh my Ooh. goodness. This is a content idea. This is a content idea. I don't hate it's it. It's an intercontinental idea. <laughs> International content idea. Whoa, we would be blending three guys from three different countries in a new location to one of the guys from one of those countries. Mind blown. Absolutely mind blown. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. I can't well, think straight or speak anymore. Much. <laughs> I uh, I really appreciate it, and I'm really looking forward to uh, to getting my first mad scientist. I will. Uh, I will definitely get that sorted very soon. Heck yeah! That's uh, so cool. Um, just also wanted to shout out um, Doll, who was like got so like <laughs> excited. She went out and minted a friggin. She, she bought 10 lab and minted a new freshie. And wow, was he ever a good one? Um, that is dope with the brain. It, it, it's a, oh my God. It, like the brain is a super, is a pretty rare trait. So I, I think so. Yeah. But uh, I was like jelly as hell. I was like, wow, I wish my first mint went that well. <laughs> that was uh, that was a dope pick. And uh, so, yeah, welcome to the team. We got, I also gave some away to Mr. Dude and uh, Alan who is in Australia and he had to dip out of space. But, uh, so we have an Aussie in the, in the crew Aussie, too. Now. Aussie, Aussie, oi, oi, oi. Well, Zerk, I appreciate you, uh, you being here with us for today. Uh, this was fantastic, man. I, uh, learned a lot. Uh, you're a great guy to chat with. You're welcome to come hang out with us anytime. Appreciate all the mad scientist community members that came here as well. I see all you PFPs. I see you down there. Thank you all for joining us. And, uh, to everybody who, uh, Hung out that uh, wasn't part of the mad scientist. Now you know. You know? Now it's one of those IYKYK. If you know, you know. So thank you guys for being here. Zerk, you got any uh, final uh, final thoughts for the day? And if, say, someone's like, you know what? I love everything that I just heard. Uh, I want to link up with these guys. What? Uh, where do they find you? Telegram, Discord, Twitter? Where's the best place to connect? Yeah, thanks. First of all, thank you for, for hosting and thank you for inviting us. Always. I uh, really appreciate the invitation. I think this was a fun spaces and uh, uh, it was great chatting with you too. So if you want to learn more about Matt Scientist, do follow this X account. We post uh, 
all the updates from the sex account or a better place in my opinion is discord i know people some people don't like discord but i think it's a great tool to get people organized for announcements and so on and so forth uh the discord link is also in this mad scientist uh kind of uh x page so yeah discord or twitter are the best places to join us and we run a community spaces might as well shout this out yeah. uh this thursday we're gonna have a community spaces at 1 p.m eastern so for all you mad scientists out there uh to get the latest mad updates uh, i'll be there so and probably carrie's gonna be there he's a he's always oh yeah what, what is this the seventh or eighth one or ninth now it's like we're getting on to it's been a while uh, and, and they're always great spaces digits now i think we're at double digits so it's, uh, it's oh good. shit man yeah, yeah. no it's always a good time so hopefully uh we'll see some new faces yeah and i love that the community started to jump in as well it's a great idea we're we're kind of you know very freewheeling and we love that people pop in and ask questions it's a community space so it is for the community love don't it. be shy i love that i think those that's that is you know we talk about you know the uh the ability for the investment and i talk about this right the ability for like the investment world to change i mean just think how cool is it where we've got these uh, community spaces like this where you get the opportunity we've always talked about like web3 provides unparalleled access right like there's no Twitter space for Coca-Cola, like you're not going to go hang out with the CEO and the founders of, uh, I don't know, Under Armour in a, uh, in a Twitter space anywhere, but Web3 is totally different. It is a special place where you get the opportunity to connect with the leaders, the founders, the builders, all that stuff. So shout out to you guys for, uh, for putting together what you're putting together. I love it. Uh, I look forward to my hand holding. Uh, Carrie, let's, uh, let's set that up. And uh, if that is while I'm in London with Doug, I think that'd be freaking dope. Uh, either way, super excited to get out there this week to uh, to participate in the crypto fight night. Uh, the boxing match is happening this week on the 15th or Saturday, the 15th. So I'll be out there having a good time, getting ready, getting back to training, which is good. I've taken a you know a couple of days off, heal, letting the body heal, uh, but it's time to uh, to get back uh, and get that cardio going and, and get in shape for the next fight. But Zurich, I appreciate you guys being here. Kerry, thank you for setting this up. Everybody who participated in the show, thank you guys. If you just listened. Thank you so much. We can't do it without you. We love you. Have a great rest of your day. Do something to make yourself better than you were yesterday. Do that a few days in a row. It'll become a habit. And then I promise you, you will want to keep that going. So thanks, y'all. We will see you tomorrow. Maybe. Uh, it all depends. My flight's at noon. Uh, we got to figure this out. It might just be a, an audio space versus a video, but we'll figure it out. But until then, ciao for now, amigos. Got the music button again. Oh well. I want the pizza music. Was that my cue? Shit. <laughs> 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 there we go. Hey.